Mamou's Courier de Mardi Gras or Fat Tuesday run has maintained authenticity for decades. We don't know one around like this. It's a reenactment of early begging rituals brought to Louisiana by French settlers in the 17th century. The Mardi Gras runners wear costumes and travel the countryside seeking ingredients for a communal gumbo at the end of the run. In the past, Mardi Gras runners would catch chickens for the gumbo, but now it's prepared beforehand. That's what we do it for, you know, poulet run. We're here to, to catch chickens and make a gumbo. But the chase has become the main attraction of today's couriers. When you catch one, that's, it's a big deal, you know. Uh, and it's all about catching as many as you can because you can brag and, and show it off. Michael Raspberry has been running for six years and knows a thing or two about chicken chasing. I got a lot of practice. Catching chickens is serious business. Raspberry says there's a strategy to it. Number one, you got to be good at hiding. You got to be good at hiding and then you got to be able to make a good chicken noise so that they'll come towards you. If you make a good chicken noise, they'll come looking for you. <laughs> They'll come to that every time. Christian McGee has been part of Mamu's career for the past couple years, but this is his first year riding on horseback. Running Mamu Mardi Gras because it, it's the few and the proud. <laughs> I know all my friends run, so I'm going to run with them. And McGee has his eyes set on the prized bird. Are you pretty good at catching chickens? I don't know how good I am yet. We'll find out today, though. <laughs> For Mardi Gras runners, chickens aren't just a gumbo ingredient, but a trophy and a good time. <laughs> In Mamu, Lydia Magallanes for KLFY News 10.